Hi guys. Hello, hi. Finally, <laughs> we are live <laughs> here from Lugosult Portable Sawmills. And today is a very exciting day for us. We have, uh, hopefully, if everything works out, we have a live connection to our dealer in the US, Maine, uh, Fox Forestry. So this uh, stream is a North America special uh, highlighting our dealers in North America. So let's see if this works out. If we have Tom Fox from Fox Forestry live with us. Hey guys and welcome. Hi. Welcome to our uh, to Fox Forestry. In Maine, we are having a beautiful morning here. Um, we're at we are we're at one of our locations. We're at the second location. We're at 920 Acadia Highway. We're not far from Acadia National Park, and uh, I'm excited to kind of show you guys around and, and to go through some of the forest equipment. So, um, at this facility, we're on we're on Route One. So or anything it's a little bit busy traffic and this is the main road to Acadia National Park. A lot of people when they think of Maine you think of lobsters and, and uh basically lobsters logging. Uh uh give you a little introduction to Fox Forestry. But it's nice to connect with you here and it's nice to uh have a face to who you're who you're ordering from. Um so we're gonna go over a couple couple of the specials that we have the, the winter campaign we're we're focusing on our chainsaw mills and i am so proud to let everybody know that we at fox forestry are fully stocked we have worked so hard to get these this inventory built up and um it's really i'm really proud of the fact that when you call and a lot of people how long is it going to take for us to get to the machines and how much you know is that we're, we're anywhere in the United States, we're three to five days away, depending on when you order. If you order on a Monday, uh, we're going to we're gonna take your order. We're going to put the zip in the handle in on it, give us your zip code, your address. And once it's placed, it, it gets shipped out. So uh, it may not be the same day, but pretty much the next day. Uh, at our other facility, we have uh, our warehouses, and, and the warehouses are, are where where we have all of the materials. So you can expect yours to arrive in the mail three to five days from the time you go there. So we're fully prepared for this. Um, we had a little. We have two machines that we're going to go over today. We have the F2. Uh, what we're working on right now. Uh, we have. This is about a 21 acre facility that we have here. And we bought this last August and we started working on it maybe January of last year. Um, and at Fox Forestry, we have a full service forest management company. So we're, uh, we have three licensed foresters, we have licensed arborists, and we've got a full timber, timber harvesting crew. So uh, we service the coast of Maine and, and a lot of the outer islands. And use a lot of our loads on the machine. So last year, uh, we got lucky to use one of our forestry crew members who's been with us for quite some time. Last year, we did uh, we did all the timber here at this property, and we're so excited to let you guys know really what we're up to here. Uh, anybody who's in the forest equipment field globally knows Elmia Wood. Elmia Wood is right near uh, Husqvarna and Jonshop in Sweden. And every five years, you have this amazing get together with all of the people that are involved with forestry equipment around the world. What we're doing here at the Acadia Highway property is going to match what they have in Elmia We have, we're going to have forest trails throughout this property. You're going to be able to come and operate the sawmills. I want you to be able to look at the F, look at the chainsaw mills, look at the band saw mills. We've got fire, small scale firewood processors from Finland. 
we've got all kinds of different forestry equipment and this is going to be a little epicenter people can fly in and you can you can stay here with us we do have actually it's a, a waterfront at the bottom of this property on the alamusic lake so uh, it's gonna be quite nice um uh, and right now you guys are in really good, in good i'm gonna let you guys we have just poured the foundation to our new, this is the new warehouse. Uh, then we're gonna have a, uh, offices and then we're also gonna have a sales floor. So you're gonna be able to look at the equipment. This is where the phone calls will come in. We've got high speed internet. Um, and what we're doing right now with the, with the Logosol machines is we're actually cutting all of the logs for we're cutting all of the logs for the building. So what we've got here, some these all, these logs all came from our um, property, and we're cutting out the interior trim. We're cutting out um, uh, all of the exterior. We have a lot of uh, white pine, pinus strobus. We have a lot of hemlock, eastern hemlock, and so those that those will be the boarding boards and the. Uh, the season for the building. And that's what we did at our warehouse at uh, our other facility in Africa. So but we we're really we're really here to kind of show you uh, what you can do with the machines and, and and what what the results look like. So that's cool. I mean we we're uh, Ben Hunt is out running these operating these machines during the during the week. We've got all different kinds of equipment. We've been, this is one of our corridors. We have, a, this is, we use this for kind of like, it's excellent for moving logs around the yard. And we've got a kind of a unique opportunity to play with all kinds of forestry machines. And, and uh, I just wanted to let you know that, you know, so there's all different methods that we have for getting the, the logs onto the sawmill. But um, this one, this has to be one of my favorites <laughs> with the crane, right? Um, we're also going to show you a couple different styles of log racks that we have right now. This is another favorite of mine. This is our, this is a gravity feed log rack. We use this for doing firewood. This is good for, you know, you can move these around. This has, this has a... I would say it's probably a 10 degree angle. You can just slide these logs down right here. You can move these up, arrange them if, if you're by yourself. You know, this one comes up like this. And then when you're getting ready to, we just have a little dog here, okay? So this dog comes out and you can slide this down and set it on your neck. So we went through, we went through the F2 and the 572 on our not live stream. We did a little practice for, for, for us behind the scenes. And uh, on, the, on the 572, we have um, all the accessories too. So I can show you a little bit here. Um, by the way, these 572s are excellent saws. For those of you that are out there that are kind of looking for um, looking for a sawmill and a saw, we're fully stocked with these. It's a, this has been a really tough uh, year for the pandemic and all of the shipping disasters. And so for those people who are who have been waiting or have been looking, um, I have great news for you. This is, this is now possible. So if anybody is looking for a 572, we're, these are fully in stock. This is what we would sell with the F2 Sama. I like these, it's a great combination. Uh, with our winter campaign, we're gonna give you a discount at purchase and you can choose, the, you can choose to add on accessories. So the accessories on this unit, you get the carriage with the saw, with the sawmill. Um, but the hand crank right here in the stabilizer, top of the stabilizer bar, these would be the accessories that would be part of the winter campaign. So over here, 
I had a lot of questions from people about this this uh, stabilizer bar. What does it do? Do I need it? What's happening here? Well, this is quite nice. This is a magnet for those of you that haven't seen this and how this, how this comes together. So this just kind of softens the vibration. You know what I mean? But uh, I do want to note that you, you do want to check and make sure that all of your bolts are tight when you're running this and, and make sure that everything is, is in adjustment uh, as these things rattle. So um, we did all of our cuts with the F2. This is the F2 six meter. We have, um, we've got all, depending on what, for depending on what kind of logs, what size logs, what your what your purpose is, um, uh, we've got the sawmill. You can add as many of these. You can add as many of these as you want. Um, but this one is the six meter, so we've got uh, we're doing sixteen foot logs with this one right now. We've got the F two plus five meter set up, and um, this one we can we have a six sixty one on it right now. This is, we're doing a lot of hardwoods. We have all the hardwoods set up right now. So in this log deck is uh, beech, oak, a little bit of soft maple, ash. Uh, no problem with the chainsaw mills. Uh, softwood, hardwood, it's okay. 10 degrees, 10 degrees, 10 degrees, right? Um, on this one, we've got, Oh, we've even got a little boiler table on here. It's a boat. And this one is a is a white birch. So these these uh, could be some of our um, boards for the interior of the new building. And we've got we've been through a lot of logs this year. I think how many board feet do you guys think we cut off this log? I would say fifteen to twenty thousand or more. Off this particular lot, we probably cut, I would imagine, probably 25,000 25, board feet. feet of logs that came off this lot. Yep. And, and uh, our, crew has been, our crew has been milling, stacking, stickering. They're, uh, they're going to know exactly how many board feet. So did it cut, did it feel like uh, 25,000? It did, yeah. Okay. So... Um, but all of that wood is going to be part of this building, and we're so excited to have you guys to kind of watch this grow, right? So um, just so you know, as, as you guys are looking at the Logosol machines and you want to ask questions and you're looking at managing your own property, I mean, this is something that we do. This is our business. We're in the forest management business, you know, and uh, so we're working directly with landowners just like you. Uh, we answer a lot of questions. We've got a full staff of uh, licensed foresters, licensed arborists. We do the timber harvesting work. So um, these guys are on the other end of the line. Now, they may not be on the other end of the line the, the absolute moment that you call us, but we can get you sometimes on the weekends. We can get you a call back. I mean, these we're in the machines. We're doing the actually doing the work but i'm really excited to tell you that um some of the landowners that we work with we're actually doing the forest management work for them we've sold them the bandsaw mill we've sold them the chainsaw mill and now they're making the boards for themselves and i'll tell you in the united states this year with the lumber prices that went up like this we were finding that these sawmills were in high demand and we've, we've sold them all over the U S and we've kept them in the inventory and we have them. in inventory, And so we can get these two. And, uh, and so that's, that's a really, that's really, uh, and you can save a lot of money doing this on your own, particularly if you've got logs or if you've got access to logs, we've, we've had a lot of customers this year who are in the wood business and they're just looking they could they weren't going anywhere. They're looking for another source of uh, revenue and, uh, and a new service, you know. They provide a whole other level of service to these things. So I am ready to do some cutting. And I would love to take you guys through a, a couple cuts with the, with the F2 Plus. 
We've got the 661 on this one. Fire and hole, I'm not sure how you can kind of soften the sound, but I trust somebody's got that understood. scenes is Ben. Ben, uh, Ben, I call Ben Gold Star Ben. He's he's he does all of the forest management work. He is a, a amazing. We've got an amazing staff here at Fox Forestry, and uh, and this is Ben Hunt. So we've got two Bens actually on the crew. Um, ben Aruda behind the camera, and Ben Hunt here. I we're gonna have to we're gonna have to see whose office is this board going to go on. This is nice trip. I might have to arm wrestle you for this board. I don't know. I think this would look better on my office. Huh? We'll see. This is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. So as we're cutting this, we're also using it. And I think that's a really nice that's a, you know, that's a really nice thing to communicate here. What When, you, when you've when you got a dream, when you've got good ideas, when you need the tools to do these types of projects, where are you going to this we've got that so we're here to help you with this um this is gorgeous i i like how this grain is just it's like flames almost and every log is a little bit of a a little bit of a a known mystery you can kind of see it you can you can read the wood but i'll tell you there's nothing like villain when it just the story unfolds you know what i mean and and uh, you know you might see, you might not see something from the outside, but when you open it up, look at the inside. There it is. So this is a beautiful a beautiful cut. These are these are uh, ten degrees, ten degrees, ten degrees. Um, do we do still get a lot of questions on the rip chain? Do I need a special chain for this? Yeah, yeah, you do. You're gonna need ten degrees, ten degrees, ten degrees. We can help you with that. We've got. Rip chains for every saw. We've got them all in rolls. We can custom make those with your order. Just let us know. Um, and as far as uh, as far as the right sawmill for you, I think that is also going to be the the. If you start with an F two plus F two four meter or an F two plus four meter, you can always add these sections on. But I would I would like to point this out. This is a this is the F2 plus five meter. And for a lot of people who are getting into this because they have crafts or they want special pieces, or maybe you've had a tree cut down on your yard and you've got a bunch of 
interesting branches or something. This five meter is actually the mill for you because if you look, we have this short distance where you can put smaller logs in. So I know that that doesn't make everybody, oh, I, I just wanted the short one. Well, you get the longer ones so you can do short ones. This is the five meter and this is unique to this. So if you have a, if you have a specialty uh, market or a special, or it maybe it has to do with the size of your logs. This is an excellent, this is an excellent mill for you. Um, but you can, you know, you can add on to these. You can, there's a lot of versatility with the Logosol chainsaw mills. Um, and it's great to see you all here. Thank you so much. Are we we're good to go? Andreas, back to you, buddy. Thanks, Tom. Thanks you. Thank you so Thank much. You. <laughs> that was great. Uh, that was uh, Fox Forestry, our uh, number one dealer in the US. Uh, if you want to find uh, their contact details, uh, just head over to our webpage, logosol.us, and you can give Tom a call right away or send them an email. Awesome. Uh, uh, I'm really happy that we got that working. Yeah. Uh, amazing to do a live stream at the same time, both from Sweden and Maine, US. So cool. Um, we have um, uh, we have some questions. We have a Sal uh, bought the F2 Plus from Fox Forestry. Super fast shipping. Uh, yes, they have the chainsaw mills in stock. So good that's luck great. With your, uh, and good luck mill. with your F2 Plus. Uh, Ron Morin wonders if the electric motor is available in the US. No, not, not yet. Uh, we only have the uh, three phase motors for Europe, the 50 hertz versions. And uh, we have another dealer. This is not live, but this is a dealer video from... Uh, this is live. This is live. You are live. <laughs> and you're live. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is from um, Silvana in Canada. Mm? Hello from Canada. Thank you for watching the live show. My name is Dick Johnson. I'm with uh, Silvana. We have been in business for uh, 30 years and represented Logosol for almost as long. If you are from Canada, feel free to contact us after the show if you have any questions. Thank you. Silvana offers a wide range of equipment for forestry. From seedling production, small-scale harvesting, to Logosol's value-added wood processing products. We at Silvana are very proud to represent Logosol in Canada. Silvana's role is to guide and support you before and after the purchase decision. We handle all Logosol products that are available for the North American market. I can tell you they represent the highest Swedish quality and innovation. In Canada, F2 and the F2 Plus chainsaw mills are very popular. Truly portable as they can be disassembled in one meter sections. They are easy to use and cut with a beautiful finish. Compared with a cheaper band mill, you might often be much better off with an F2. Logosalt band mills are of the highest quality. They are not the least expensive on the market. The initial purchase price for the base mill might not be so important. It depends on your long-term goal. By buying our B751 Pro or the B1001 band mill, you keep the door open to upgrading in the future. 
Later on, you might want to add some of our hydraulic features or the smart set. Logosol have designed these mills so you can. If you buy a cheaper mill, you might very well be stuck and cannot add features to it. Thank you for your attention and you're welcome to contact Silvana. Bye bye. From our number one dealer in Canada, Dick Johnson and Silvana. If you want to get in contact with Silvana, uh, head over to uh, our webpage logosul.ca. So that was great. Yeah. Uh, we've had uh, Fox Forestry live with us and a video uh, greeting from Dick and Silvana. What's next? We have one more video today and that's from uh, April Wilkerson in Texas. This week I am having a lot of fun because in this video I'm showing you the ins and outs of my new bandsaw mill. Dun, 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 dun. To give you a brief recap of my milling history, I've used my first chainsaw mill back in 2018, which was the Grandberg system. It got me excited and hooked on milling in the first place. It wasn't long after that that I wanted more capacity and started exploring bandsaw mills. So that in 2019, I built the Matt Cremona mill with Matt and two of our friends. It has a six foot cutting capacity and is currently housed safely under an awning at my commercial building called the Woodshed. We use this for any logs that are over 36 inches cut capacity, such as this large heritage oak saved from the Austin landfill. Then in 2020, I added a Logosol portable chainsaw mill to the lineup. This is a huge upgrade from the Grandberg system in the chainsaw mill category, and would give me a way to take a mill to the logs rather than always having to bring the logs to my bandsaw mill. If you're interested in that review, I have left you a link down in the description. This mill can handle up to a 27 and a half inch diameter log. You would think, as I did at that time, that my mill lineup was complete. However, I found myself in situations where there was still plenty of logs under that 27 and a half inch capacity, but then a few that I was having to leave behind because they were over it. This led me to look at a bandsaw mill that had a larger cut capacity. This one is 36 inches, but also gave me the option of portability. This Logosol mill has a trailer package, so when I get a call on trees, I now either have the option of going to grab the logs and bringing them back to the woodshed to slab up, or I can deploy the chainsaw mill and bandsaw mill to slab the trees on site. After I first put it together, I was curious to see if a single person could move it. And go figure, you can. For the first test run, me and my team used the buggy to haul it around back where I store the logs. This is a huge pile of pecan. Dave and I spent three days hauling to the woodshed to save from getting cut up and burned. If I had the mill at the time, we would have just hauled it to the house and slabbed everything on site. The mill is very easy to maneuver into place, even with something as small as a UTV. One of my favorite features is the easy and precise height adjustment Logosol has created. It all happens with a turn of a handle on the push bar. It's set up to turn in different increments so that you can adjust by eighth an inch for the curve, a quarter inch, or a full turn, which is always gonna be one inch exactly. And even though it doesn't add function, I love the subtle Swedish flag built into the carriage so it proudly waves as it's working. The carriage moves incredibly smooth over the rails, which is a big testament to the material choice of Logosol, but it's also credited to how good of a job you put in during the setup stage. The carriage is shipped as a complete unit, then the trailer is shipped in parts that you assemble. When it first arrived, I used a chain hoist around a beam in my ceiling to hoist it slightly up, then drove out from under it to lower it down to the ground. It does weigh a few hundred pounds, so while a few strong people could lift it up, I would recommend pulling in a chain hoist or piece of equipment. It took me two days to put together the trailer. Since it's mobile, I went ahead and built it indoors to take advantage of the climate control, but also the big flat floor. If you do this, just make sure you have a doorway large enough to get it out after it's assembled. I am not one for enjoying assembling machines. I love to use them, but not put them together. 
However, Logasol is just so impressive with their engineering. I found myself loving the savvy thought process put into the details. It's the same way I felt when assembling the chainsaw mill. It's very clear as Logasol products are going together that it's well thought out and intended to be excellent. Once the main bed was assembled, I hopped on my forklift and with the help of David and a few straps, set the entire thing directly on the rails. If you don't have a forklift, then again, I recommend a chain hoist. After the carriage is in place, it can be secured to the rails. Then the other items can quickly be added on, such as the engine, throttle handle, and belt. I typically keep all of the slabs on the mill, but this day I was excited to see the inside of these salvaged pecan logs and also give you guys a glimpse inside. The first peek inside of a log is by far the best part of milling. You just never know what sort of surprise character is going to be hidden within. One side of the bed has steel posts that can be adjusted up and down to catch the log. The blade rotates this way, which will pull the log into these posts. In addition to the post, Logasol has these really ingenious cam locks that fit into the cross sections of the bed to clamp the log into place. If you need a clamp, you just need to use the cam to wedge it up against the log snugly. Then use the locking feature to hold its position. You can use these on the other side to press the log into the steel post, or if you have a curved log, then placing a cam lock on both sides is a great way to hold it in the middle of the bed instead of up against one of the side posts. In my opinion, there is so many cool features on this mill and having such a great quality piece of equipment just makes the process of milling that much more fun. If you've been looking at getting a portable bandsaw mill, then I definitely recommend this one. I've been to Sweden and have met the Logasol team in person and was impressed with their mindset, their work ethic and dedication to producing quality products while cultivating people's passion for milling. If you're interested in buying a bandsaw mill, then you're more than welcome to stop by the woodshed and see mine in person. I'd be happy to walk you through it. It's also worth noting that I carry the Logasol chainsaw mills as well as a room full of slabs if you're not interested in milling yourself, but just interested in the byproducts. I really hope that you have found this video informative and I've linked to everything down in the description if you wanna check out my other reviews, um, what I'm currently doing at the woodshed or Logasol. So I will see you on whatever I'm working on next, guys. Another great presentation and greeting from April Wilkerson, uh, one of our, yeah, one of our dealers. very good dealers yeah. in the U.S. as well. Thank you so much. So that was the special for today, I think. That yeah. was the special, <laughs> the North American special uh, here from Logosol. Um, the we, camp yeah, the yeah. campaign. No, go ahead. No, just a small reminder. The, the winter campaign is live on logosol.us and logosol.ca. So check out the great offers that we have. Mm? That's all for now. Thank you. Thanks. Take care. Bye. Bye. -bye.